Television series are much more than fiction or entertainment to a lot of people. They become real-life stories and the characters in them become flesh and blood. Before Lorraine Desmond became Australia's favourite mum, the title was held by my next guest in one of the most successful of all Australian series, The Sullivans. Grace Sullivan was killed in the London Blitz, but the actress who played her survived as Jennifer Carson in Carson's Law. Ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine Bailey. <laughs> Of course, were a, by comparison a, a late starter into the theatre. You what five when you started, weren't you? <laughs> Four and a half. Four and a half. <laughs> no, three actually with the Salvation Army. Well, I see. Oh, the Sally you used to follow the Sally, did you? No, uh, yes. Um, I was given a, <laughs> no, a yes, tambourine <laughs> for Christmas uh, when I was three, and uh, the Salvation Army used to go around, and so I just joined them one day and was went missing, so to speak, and I was found following them with my tambourine. Uh -huh. And what about the, the sort of the proper stuff, though? I mean, you used to do a vent act, didn't you, when you were very young? No. Well, my father was a policeman, just like Carson's Law, and, uh, but he, uh, as well, he was uh, an amateur magician and ventriloquist. Yeah. So he taught me um, how to do ventriloquism with the doll. And how old were you when you were doing this? Oh, I think from about five onwards. I know the doll was as big as I was, or a little bit bigger. Jerry, yes. his name, he had red hair yeah. and a white costume with purple pom-poms. And how did you, uh, can you remember the act? No, I can remember uh, the song was Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. But, um, I mean, that was 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember the voice at all? Yeah, yes, 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 a little bit. Do you want to hear something? Yeah, 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 yeah. go on. Go well, on. I, well, I have to put my hand well, up Of course, because... well, that's, that's, <laughs> that's Jerry, sure. Well, yeah. Jerry, you have to hold this his is, head. This is Jerry. <laughs> this, right, is, this, this, Jerry. this is Jerry. But well, you see, that's right, that's Jerry. But you have to look at Jerry, because when you're of doing course. ventriloquist act, I won't you, look you, it. you misdirect. Actually. Could you be my doll? Certainly. Can you swing around with me? Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet Jerry. Will you put your hand up the back? Oh, yes, yes, I'm going to. There it is. But what you have to do when I'm singing is go like this. Right? Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. How the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Uh, Mind you, I'm a little rusty, in case you <laughs> hadn't noticed. <laughs> Bet you can't say Gulverhampton. <laughs> Gulverhampton. <laughs> Gulverhampton. It's the most difficult word for ventriloquist to say, isn't it? Where do you come from, my little man? Gulverhampton. <laughs> Gulverhampton. Can you say Wolverhampton, my lad, though? Wolverhampton. Oh, she's very good indeed. <laughs> Amazing, yes. Probably saw my lips, though. Yes. Now, what about oh. the theatre, though? Because your, your, your first ambition was to be a film star, wasn't it? As, oh. Esther Williams, was it? Yes, I wanted to be... Uh, this was also when I was about five of and course. living in the country and used to go to the movies, and Esther Williams was the big star at the time. Yes. And, oh, I, you know, all this gold lame and all this backstroke and everything like this, and I used to swim, you see, so I'd get down to the pools and I'd do all this <laughs> glamorous backstroke. Except I used to wear bum my head because I could never see where I was going. <laughs> and I used to always wonder how in the movies she... Always looked so wonderful and just stopped at the right time without bumping <laughs> her head. And then I remember when I was about 12 years of age, uh, buying my first gold lame swimming costume. Oh, but that was I stunning. I, I thought that was so glamorous. Knock them out of the local baths. Uh, no, nothing was knocked out when I was wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was used 12. To, I used to fancy her, I said, Esther Williams. She well, but really, when you think back, the musicals, the, the spectacle, um, oh, they were lovely, weren't oh, they? Oh, magnificent. All and that I... coloured smoke and <laughs> dropping yeah. into the thing and trapezes and Busby Barker. Exactly. Oh. It's like sex, you know, it was better in those days. <laughs> 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 it's a bit odd, it was really. No. <laughs> I was yeah. waiting when you mentioned you should I know, I know. <laughs> now, let's get, let's get on something serious, serious business, the Sullivans. Isn't when it... sex? Mm. No, no, well, it's not. Oh, we no, it's decided. funny, we just it's established that, right? It was, it was funny. Yes. Particularly for a ventriloquist. Um, <laughs> when you did the, when you got the part, did you realise, in fact, that it was going to be as successful, that part, as you... I mean, was it, did it appear to you to be a good, meaty part to have? In the Sullivans? Yes. When, uh, yes, I liked the script very much when mm. I first read it, because um, I thought it was a good role, it was an interesting woman, and I liked what the series was about, because it, um, it was part of history, and it was also 
able to communicate to people who perhaps didn't live through those years how people did feel mm. during that time and um, what they had to go through. And, and it was also a learning period for, for myself because um, I gained a greater respect for the people who had, had gone to war and the people who had to suffer through the war mm. um, because you just don't know unless you've lived through it. And I feel as if I almost have. Yes, um, it's playing in England, that, through of course, that series. at present. I know, I get a lot of letters from England. Do you? Yes. Nice ones. Very, very nice letters. And um, I gather from the mail that I, I'm receiving that Grace is just about to be blown up. <laughs> oh, she's, <laughs> about, she, <laughs> yes. she's about to disappear from the series. <laughs> was that so. was that your decision to leave? Yes, it was. Um, Why? Nothing to do with the series at no. all, because I thoroughly enjoyed doing that, and I loved the role and, and um, the, the whole um, production. But it was just, as, as was being discussed earlier, it um, makes incredible demands on, on your private life. Mm. And um, after two and a half years, I just needed a bit more for my own personal life. Uh, that how, always comes from Yes, me. I mean, how difficult is it, though, to, to make that decision? Because it was extremely difficult at the time, be. because mm. when you're enjoying the work mm. and you like the role, um, it was a very, very difficult decision. And um, I often think if maybe I'd had time off for a holiday, would I have taken it and gone back? But at the time, um, I had to make a decision within three months, and I, I just didn't know at that stage what, what to do, so... Uh, let me ask you what I asked, asked uh, Rainer and Lorraine as well. I mean, what kind of reaction do you get from, from people in the, in the street? Do you find that people assume that they know you, that you're their best friend and that sort of thing? Very nice reaction. Um, if, you know, it, it's nice to have somebody just say, Hello, Lorraine, as if they have known you for a long time, and it's very warm and it's very friendly, and you can't help but respond in kind. Uh, although, sometimes it can go to the me. I can remember when I have been out to dinner with someone and you want to be with that person, but on two different occasions, I've had people actually come and join us. <laughs> 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 and but we, we, we didn't have to pay as well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember who paid now. But, well, really, um, they I mean, sat it's, down. It's, uh, the, <laughs> yes, so you've got the double yeah, thing there of wanting to be with the person that you're with, but on the other hand, it's a pleasurable feeling to think that, well, they felt that warm and that they knew you, that they could just come and, and join you. <laughs> it's a real dichotomy, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. Have you ever had anybody join you for dinner or... Yes. For, what, just sit down yes. and say... often. Often? Yeah. Really? Oh, I've only had it twice. Oh. Just come and sit down. Uh-huh. Kiss you soundly on both cheeks and sit down and order coffee. Oh, you've never seen them before? <laughs> no. What's your, what's your tactic with dealing with them? I just say hello and... Uh, what would you like for dessert? What are, you, yes, what are you going to do? I mean, you just go with it. Um, it is, as, as Lorraine said, it's a thing that they feel they know you. You belong to them. So yes. Uh, yes. It's just a bit hard, I think, if you're particularly fond of the fellow you're with. He doesn't understand. <laughs> I think you're all crazy in any case to doing the job you're doing. I really do. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're all potty. Well, yeah. You are. Absolutely. You're you are. Yes, Man, you're absolutely. Right. It's a yeah. lot easier to sit here talking to you than be there and going up on stage. That's and what all I No, no, no. That's not it's entirely cushy for it's you. It's cushy for me, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Course, yeah. Yeah. There are very, very well. enjoyable moments in it. There are. Yes. We'll talk about some of those in just a moment. Right. Lorraine Belly for the moment. Thank you very much indeed. Lorraine Belly. But what's the worst moment that you've, uh, you've been through professionally? Best little whorehouse in Texas. Really? Yes, um, but it, it was also one of the most pleasurable as well because um, um, when Mike Walsh first asked me would I do it, and it was a musical, I thought, oh, yes, I'd love to. And I had colleagues ringing me up saying, don't, don't, you ruin your career. But I went ahead anyway because um, I'd never done one before and I wanted to learn. And um, so I started taking singing lessons and... Um, I wasn't sounding too bad in rehearsals. And then I made the mistake of thinking, well, the more you practice, the better you become. So I was having singing lessons in the morning, singing lessons at night, and rehearsing all day. And of course, I just wore my voice out. And then two days before the opening anyway, I caught some overseas virus that was going around. So I went on stage on opening night, and I had this virus, so I had diarrhea and I was <laughs> vomiting. And uh, between scenes, it's true. You can imagine what it was like trying to perform. You'd come on and do a little bit, and you'd think, I hope I can get through this bit, you know. <laughs> and race up to the toilet. Other members of the cast kept teasing me about disappearing up the corridor all the time. And this went on for, for the first five weeks. And it was horrendous because you're on stage and you just, all I could remember thinking was, I hope I don't pass out. 
or and, and being so dizzy, I, I hope I don't fall over. And you know, tr as well as trying to think of, of the song and, and the dialogue. And you know, there are some nights when you just think, I hope nobody can see me. And it's a bit hard when you're centre stage and there's a thousand yeah, people. There's out a big bum there. Yes. Going, yeah. Mind you, there are other nights when I was good. Yes. I wasn't terrible all the time, just <laughs> some <of> the time. <laughs> and Rowena, what about yours? What would yours be? <clears throat> I suppose the, the worst times for me are always those periods out of work. Because nobody ever thinks you're out of work. Because no. there are things on air that you've done years and years ago that you thought would never surface, but suddenly up they come. And you go and say, oh, you're busy, aren't you? I haven't worked for eight months. Oh, well, we saw you on the telly. They're the worst times for me. Yes. You sit around waiting for the phone to ring, and you discover it's been cut off for the last <laughs> three months. Is it very, do, do you get very depressed by it? No? I used to, not do so you? much anymore, because yeah. I've been out of work for a while, so it's difficult to say. Yes. But, yes, mm. nobody wants you, nobody loves you, and you're useless and hopeless. Yeah. All that paranoia that sets in. Yes. Uh, you know, it's damage to the ego. That's what it is, yeah. basically. <laughs> but we're hopeless. Well, I am. Lorraine, what about you? Well, I'd been in the business for years and years and years, and suddenly I thought, well, gosh, you know, I've never, ever made a commercial. I still haven't made a commercial. Nobody wants me on commercial. <laughs> and uh, I thought to myself, would you mean lovely? Oh, well, I still haven't made one. And the phone rang from my agent said, listen, there's a terrific commercial, it's very good money. I said, oh, what is it? And uh, he said, well, it's just one thing, it's... Um, the toilet paper. <laughs> I said, well, I've been in it so long, I don't think I want to go back and start at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't do it. You didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> start at the bottom. That sounds like, like a really good line, that, to me. It's true, it happens. Yeah. But, <laughs> but what is it, you see, that, <clears throat> that keeps you going, keeps you in this silly business that, that you've all chosen to be in, um, when, when things are bad? Masochistic, I mm. suppose. You think so, do you? Um, well, I don't know anything else. I mean, I'm very new to this end of the business. Yes. I've been... <laughs> back to ends again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've mostly been connected with music all my life, so this is a, just a wonderful, uh, fresh, new thing for me. Uh, and I love it. However, I don't know how you'd feel after quite a few years without a holiday, and I think that's a very interesting thing. We're getting a nice long holiday this year, and, I, and we all need it. Mm. Uh, I think if you're with a great cast and you're all having a good time, it's... it's there's more warmth and friendliness in working with a group because I've spent so, well, all those years alone, really. You know, just travelling around the world on my Todd. Mm. And it gets a bit lonely and I'm enjoying the company of being part of a company. Yes. Mm. Lorraine, what is it about, about it that keeps you going? I like um, um, changing um, characters. I love creating different characters and so even if I'm not in a series, I, I try and choose the roles that will um, use a different part of me. That's why I like doing different ages. Most of the things I've played are, have been older than me. And that's partly because if you're working on film, I hate worrying about makeup and hair and things. So if you're playing an older part and not very glamorous, you can in, enjoy the location without worrying. But it's, it's the little things, you know, like creating new characters and working in a company that you can really enjoy. Mm. And so even in a two hour a week series, naturally all the storylines that you're going to have to do aren't going to please you. Mm. But every now and again, something will come along that is just wonderful mm. and that you thoroughly enjoy doing and it can make it all worthwhile. Yeah, this thing about you about disguise is interesting because I, I remember once did a, did a show with, with Peter Sellers and he actually called off the night before and I said, why won't you do the show? And he said, because I can't walk on as myself. <coughs> and I said angrily, well, walk on in bloody disguise then. And he said, can I? And he came on as a German officer. And it was yeah. the only way he could get on. It's quite extraordinary. He just could not walk on as himself. He couldn't that, walk again, down Again, that's stairs. a different thing, though, oh, though than purposely wanting and trying to put little pieces right. together to make a different character. Right, right. So it, it gives you the impression that a lot of actors are, are walking around looking for someone to be. Yes. You know, not yes. knowing in, innately deep down who they are or what they are. Yes. Which I suppose is everybody's problem, basically. But with actors, it seems to be more pronounced. So we go through this soul-searching process, but of doing it in public, of But also, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a creative outlet, you know, I mean, musicians have their creative outlet, ballet dancers have theirs, and I think in our business, um, you can go on and play a straight role and play yourself, right. if you want to. <coughs> I can remember or times else. when it wasn't terribly creative, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, exa oh, exactly, you have right. to. But then you can aim for that, and you can look yeah. for it, and, and try I, for I it. I find it so exciting to get different scripts every week. Yes. And have somebody actually writing it for you, and then you, you play with the words that 
somebody's done all that work. Yes. Because normally if you go out and do an hour by yourself on a stage, you're left with finding all of that dialogue and the whole bit yourself. Because there's nobody to write it for you, so well, you do it yourself. The nice thing about this job, actually, apart from talking to the three lovely ladies like yourself, is, is actually finding again something else that, that you can do. Because, I mean, well, you work with everybody in, in this kind of job I do. Mm. And I've got a you great... See, I find that very interesting. Great, it's fascinating. Great futures of ventriloquist dumb. <laughs> that's what I do know. Absolutely. For, to, for that, I thank you very much indeed. My pleasure. Okay. <laughs> Lorena Wallace, Lorraine Bailey, thank you very much indeed for being my guest. Thank we'll you see much. you at the same time next week. Until then, from all of us here, very good night. Good night. Good night, Jerry.